All right, I have a review of the beautiful fragrances by the House of Neanderthal. This one is Us and Them. Hey, Fragrance family, I'm Dave and I'm a fragrance bro. Of course, your best source for everything fragrance related. Now, it has been a while since I've talked about Neanderthal fragrances. A while back, I did a video of dark and light. I didn't actually get to a full review of them. And then they actually sent me us and them before the pandemic started. I realized that I hadn't made a video about them. And so I thought, you know, this is the perfect time to talk about them because it is fresh on my mind. And these are just beautiful scents. So first, a little bit about Neanderthal. The owner, Kentaro Yamada, is an artist, and he designed the line of fragrances from Neanderthal to kind of reflect humanity and talk about themes about humanity in a certain way. And one thing I love about Neanderthal is that they have beautiful scents. Their scents are really complex, very well done, very well put together. They spent a lot of time thinking about them, and then the actual bottles themselves are pieces of art. You can actually get a little code that will actually tell you what the series number is. They have a certain number of molds that are unique to the bottles, so you're going to get a kind of unique bottle presentation, which I think is also really beautiful. This one is the 30 mil presentation. They also have a 100 mil as well. So first, let's talk about Us. Now, this one is a beautiful, dark, spicy, woody fragrance. Okay, so I got the windy day today. <laughs> Notes in this are bergamot, orange, elemi, pink pepper, black pepper, eucalyptus, rose, cardamom, frankincense, geranium, vetiver, hyracium, labdanum, myrrh, cypriol, cade, oud, tree moss, sandalwood, and musk. If you like really dark, spicy, woody type of scents, this is just a scent that you have got to try. From the start, I get a lot of pepper. There is pink pepper and black pepper, kind of just a mixture of the both. And then of course, you also get a lot of wood with it. And I'm not exactly sure what wood I get at the top. It's just a good woody spicy scent right away. There's also like this middle kind of piquancy, green piquancy type of thing that I get that almost smells like rubber. But I don't mean that in a bad way either. It smells really good. And it seems like it fits in this mix. There's a very smoky note here, which I believe is from the Cade. And it actually does not overwhelm the scent like some smoky notes do. It's very prominent, but it doesn't really overwhelm it, which I like. Just adds almost like a smoky firewood type of vibe, which sits really well with that woody and spicy thing at the top. I also get a good bit of vetiver as well, and it's mixed really well again here too, and it just adds that kind of thing that vetiver adds, that kind of green starchiness, just kind of glues everything together in the way that good vetiver does. As it dries, it goes more into the woody thing, it goes into sandalwood, it goes into oud, and some musk is there as well. The spice is barely holding on at that point, but you can still smell it a little bit. But in general, this is just a fantastic, really woody, spicy scent that I think smells so good good. There's not a lot of scents out there that smell as put together as this does. There's something about it that just smells really purposeful and refined in just the way that they make it. And in a lot of ways, it's almost hard to pick out the notes to distinguish them. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it just shows you how kind of how much time they spent blending the notes together. And you really get that here. It just smells really high quality. And as far as like the performance goes, these are absolutely massive, beastly fragrances. <laughs> I usually just wear one, maybe two sprays of this max. And that is all I need. And <laughs> two is like almost pushing it. But yeah, that's all I need. They're just powerful fragrances that smell amazing. So yeah, there is us. Let's go on to them. Now, Vim is an amazing fresh scent that is unlike any fresh scent that I have ever tried. It is truly special. It's light, but also thick at the same time. It's a really great mix here. Notes in this are grapefruit, lavender, carrot seed, sea kelp, iris, neroli, hinoki, magnolia, sandalwood, and brett, styrax, musk, and ambergris. At the start, it is a blast of leather and citrus as well, but like really good leather, like fresh shoes or a fresh leather jacket or a nice car with leather interior. It's like that. And again, there's that citrus note at the top too, but that citrus is not super strong. And there's also a slight floral component here too, but it's not overwhelming either. This has a very beautiful musky quality that is almost nutty and woody as well. It's a very interesting mix of notes here that smells fresh, but yet cozy as well, which is not common for a fresh scent. When I'm wearing this, I get almost completely wildly different feelings at different points in the phases of wearing this fragrance. As it dries, it moves away from that citrusy green type of thing and moves more into the musky uh, leather type of thing. Just like the other fragrances in their line, this is so well done and so well put together. 
it seems so seamless in the way that it is and smells high quality too. And when you spend, you know, a good amount of your money to get a fragrance, you want to smell as good as the money you paid for it does. And you don't always get that with all fragrances. Sometimes the fragrances you get, they don't smell high quality, but sometimes there are fragrances that smell every dollar's worth. And this is that one. You, you smell expensive whenever you wear us and them. And that's what I love about Neanderthal in general. They're really unique. They're so well put together. They're beautiful. I don't really know what this says about humanity. I don't really know what us and them is really actually saying. I think it's a very interesting philosophical point that they're making about fragrances. Maybe there are some connections to humanity in here, but overall, I just think they're just wonderful fragrances. They are really worth your time and worth every penny that you spend on these. They are just some of the best fragrances I've tried in a long time. Neanderthal is absolutely one of the kings of the niche world, and they're so underrated. Not a lot of people know about this brand, but they should. Definitely check out Neanderthal, us, and them. With that, I'd like to thank my sponsor, Fragrance X. Fragrance X is an online reseller that sells thousands of legitimate products for a discounted cost. If you're considering buying a fragrance, definitely check out Fragrance X. I'll have a link down below to them as well as a coupon. But also check out Rakuten.com. Rakuten.com is a website that offers you a rebate with every purchase that you make through their website. They actually have a deal with Fragrance X that offers you a certain percentage in rebates just by buying through Rakuten. So I'll have a link down below to them as well. Definitely check out Fragrance X and Rakuten together great. I would love to know if you've tried this, so let me know down in the comments if you've tried it. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with the Fragrance Bros.